Hey there lads and lasses, it's Moscow here bringing you another vlog and today I went on to Google and it popped up with an article from The Independent saying that apparently the top 10 Scottish words have been chosen. This was two days ago this article was published so I thought well do you know what? What better to do than do a reaction video to what they consider to be the top 10 Scottish words. Now even although it says top 10 it actually has a top 20 on the website so let's just start and go through them. So coming in at number 20 is Wersh which means weak. I've never heard of that. Has anybody out there that is Scottish heard of that? That might be from a certain area of Scotland that I just do not know. It might be a word that I just do not know. Coming in at number 19 is another word I've never heard before and I think is it truckled or trackled? I'm not quite sure. I don't really even know how to say it because I've never seen it, never come across it. This is going to be really interesting to see how many of you guys that are Scottish have actually heard of these words before. If you can give me a little more context and how to pronounce them as well, let me know in the comments below. Apparently it means exhausted by work. To be fair, this is a word that I think I would use quite a lot if it was a word that I knew. Next one is slicket, which I have heard of before. Now it's saying artfully flattering. Slicket. I don't think I've used it in that context before. For me, sleek it tends to mean cunning or it's used in that kind of, but I suppose artfully flat flattering, you could I suppose use it in that kind of way. Okay, number number 17, here's a word I know, is scunner, which means somebody being really fed up, really annoyed, really fed up, which is totally true. If you're scunner, then it means that you're just done with everything. Now that is a word that I know, that is a word that I've used. Quick glance it's in here. I'm quite surprised it's quite that far back on the list though, scunner. I would have thought that that would have been in the top 10, but let's keep going anyway. Number 16. At number 16, really, Peely Wally. I thought this would have been much higher too. So if you're Peely Wally, it means that you're looking very pale and sickly. And I'm quite surprised this is at number 16. Again, I would have thought this would have made it into the top 10. This is a really interesting list. Number 15 is a word that I don't recognise either. Paleary, a fit or a tantrum. Interesting. Again, I'll be interested to know if you guys have heard of this one too. Can't believe that's at number 15 is a word that I don't know. And yet Peely Wally and Scunner are further down the list. Number 14, out with. It's out with a Scottish word, really? Out with? I thought that was like an actual English word. Oh gosh. Which means outside. So he was out with the property, which means he was outside. Is that a Scottish word? Let me know in the comments below if that's a English word where you're from in the world. Coming in at number 13, a word I would have thought made it into the top 10. Numpty, meaning a fool, an idiot. And it has been one that's come up in my other Scottish slang videos before. I quite like a good numpty word, you know? You're a numpty. Number 12, again. Surprised it's low down, but at least I suppose we're getting into this higher up end now, so it's not too bad. It is glake it, uh, which means foolish or f or thoughtless. I've heard it said glake it and glake it, glake it, glake it is usually how I say it. Ah, number eleven is gallus. Gallus is that really like a, maybe these aren't really slang words? Then maybe that's what's going on. I would have thought gallus was quite a an Englishy word, and that is like somebody who is being bold or cocky. So if you're gallus, you're being bold. Number 10, this is a good one, is a fearty. If you're a fearty, it means you're afraid of everything. Hence the word fear, fearty. Fearty cat, fearty cat, sitting on the doormat. Don't know if you guys ever got that poem when you were in school, but that's what we used to say all the time. Number 10, I like it. Number nine, fash. To worry, didn't he fash yourself? Oh, it's, I think this is kind of Aberdonian. No, I think this is the Aberdonian speak for the Aberdeen people. And yeah, that means, that means didn't he worry yourself, didn't he panic yourself, like, didn't he worry. It's not really one that I commonly use, but it is one I am familiar with. Number eight, no. And my favorite Scottish word, this would be my number one. This would be my number one. I love this word, because I use it all the time, is drich. And drich is used to describe the Scottish weather. So it's when it's like, not raining, not like absolutely pissing down, because that's what we would call it, we call it pissing down. It's when it's like that, you know that misty rain that you get and it's grey and dismal and it's that misty rain that can still soak you, but it's not falling, it's just like misty. That, that is when we would call it drich. Oh, it's drich outside. Or if it's just cloudy and it looks like it's gonna start raining and it's just grey and miserable, that's drich. And it's like saying bleak weather. That's effectively what it's like. Number seven is one that I, <gasps> I do know this one. I didn't know this was Scottish. It's is dreep. Is that Scottish? I thought if you dreeped for somewhere, I thought that was like an English word. Again, I didn't think that was purely like a Scottish thing. So that's when you usually, when you turn around and then you hold, you hold like the ledge with your hands and then you let go and fall down. We call that dreeping. Number six is another one I've not heard of. This is, this is interesting. Cundy. I know what I wanted to say there. <laughs> Cundy is a drain. 
Interesting. Let me know if you guys have heard of that too. I'll be very interested to know in the comments if you've heard of that one. Number five. Again, a word I've not, th I don't think I've heard of anyway. Convener? Convener. Convenior? Convenior. Does not sound Scottish. I'm quite disappointed that these words are, these feel like actual English words to me. It is like the chair of a meeting. But disappointed by this list, not gonna lie. Okay, number four. I think I've heard of this one, but I'm struggling to remember. And it looks like it's Burach or Burach or Burach. Again, if you have any experience to pronouncing this, let me know in the comments below. And apparently it's a constant state of mess, like cluttered mess effectively when your house is a mess. Number three, I, I'm disappointed by this list independent totally totally disappointing more number three is bubbly jock I've never heard of bubbly jock have you heard of bubbly jock apparently it means turkey bubbly jock is that something to do with the dangly bits of the turkey I don't know number two again a word I've not heard of bothy means a mountain hunt who the fuck has ever used that in their life who the hell uses that like unless you're going out hunting deer I it's not really a common Scottish word that I think many people are going to know. Let me know in the comments if you've ever used that. And at least number one is a word I recognise and it is a word that I do agree does belong in the top. And it is blather. And that is a great Scottish word. If you're having a blather, it means you're having a chat. It's a bit like chinwag for the English. It is, if you're having a blather, you're chatting with somebody. It's a good blather. Guys, I'm disappointed. There were so many great words that didn't make it to that list. There was Egypt. There was uh, Brecht. As well, so Egypt meaning another word for idea, bricht being a, a word for bright when a room's built like that's bricht right now, that's really bricht. And then Dreek was so far down the list, that's like my favourite word. And then you've got ball bag. Where was ball bag? Ball bag should have been number one. I'm I'm disappointed in that list, independent. I'm totally disappointed. Anyway. If you have a top 10 Scottish words, let me know in the comments below because uh, I would love to read through yours. I'm pretty sure I will pin the one I agree with the most. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out. And don't forget to click that subscribe button because it is free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and I put up a new video every single week. Don't forget to follow me on social media, Twitter and Instagram are where I'm at my most active. And I will see you next week with another vlog. But until then, case you back guys.